Hey friends, welcome to Minimalese. My name is Becky Truda. If you're new here and today we're going to be playing a decluttering game that I call 321. So this is a game that's going to take us through every day of this week and we are going to declutter either three small things, two medium things, or one large thing. We're going to put it in a pile in our house by the end of the week. We're going to have a nice beautiful pile of things we're ready to declutter and move out of our life. So sometimes we just have to make decluttering fun. Sometimes it becomes so mundane and we don't feel like it and we don't have tons of time to do it. It becomes overwhelming. So instead of freaking out this week, we are gonna do something that is just easy and fun and just a little bit every day. So today we're gonna start in my closet because I know there's a few things I've been thinking about decluttering that are in my summer spring wardrobe. Now what I like to do is keep all of my clothes out and so there's a few pieces that I know I haven't worn over the winter, obviously, but I didn't really love them in the summer and I'm gonna explain why, but they're gonna be the first things to go. So, so let's start with this black skirt. Now there is absolutely nothing wrong with this skirt. So it's going to be donated for somebody else to enjoy, but it just wasn't a yay for me. It wasn't something that I wore a whole lot and wasn't something I was excited about wearing either. It was a little too tight on my thighs and I just felt like it wasn't super flattering the length of it that it was. So I'm going to be decluttering that and I'm gonna actually call this skirt a medium. I'm gonna call things that are like chapstick size, spoon size, small, and I'm gonna call these medium. And then anything bigger than maybe this big is going to be a large. Now for this game, you need two medium things. The other thing that I am decluttering from my spring summer wardrobe today is this white shirt. Now I have worn this white shirt many, many times, but I just don't like that it always looks so wrinkly on me and I don't really love the feel of it. So I'm going to declutter this one because it's just not a yay, awesome 100 for me. And what I like to call that is a seven. I actually heard that from the minimal mom who talked about somebody else had said that. And I thought it was a great idea. Like you don't need to declutter everything. You don't need to go through everything if everything is not absolutely perfect. But if you come to certain pieces of clothing that you've just been hanging on to for a long time and you're still not excited to wear them, they're still not a yay. That's an awesome. They're just stuck at kind of a seven, like a eh. like if I have nothing else to wear, I will wear that then let's declutter them this week. Let's make that one of our things. So on day one, I have two medium things and now let's go put them in my pile and go to day two. Hi friends, welcome to day two. We are going to be decluttering either one large thing, two medium or three small. So I already have the two small things behind me in the basket and I'm gonna go try and find something around my house to declutter and we're gonna decide what size that we think it should be. Alright friends, I have finally found something. So I'm going to get rid of one large thing, which is this big woven basket. I have tried it a couple different places around my house, which is what we do, right? Sometimes we have to try our things in different rooms until we realize that there just isn't a place for it around our house. So I am going to declutter this large basket. Now there are several reasons why. I haven't found a place I really like it. It's pretty heavy actually for a basket and I just can't see in the future needing it for anything. So I've gone through all those phases that we sometimes have to do when we're really trying to not get rid of something we like, but in the end, we just realize we don't really need it. So while I like this basket, I just don't need it. And I'm actually gonna see if my mom still wants it because she's already mentioned that she does really like it and wouldn't mind having it if I did end up decluttering it down the road. So we're just gonna ask her, but that is the end of day two and on to day three tomorrow. Okay, friends, welcome back to day three of our declutter three, two, one challenge. And today I already know exactly what I want to declutter. So it's made this whole thing a lot easier. I talked last night with uh, my husband and we talked about getting rid of this radiator heater thing. My parents had given us a long time ago. We have used it for downstairs because in the winter, our downstairs den gets really cold. 
but he actually got a much smaller, more eco-friendly one recently, and it's much better than the one we have. So I am going to go get that right now, and that is a large thing. So that's going to be day three, another one large thing to declutter. I'm gonna throw it on my pile, and we're gonna move on with our day because decluttering does not have to be hard, difficult, or take a lot of time. It does not need to be something that you have to completely plan for every time. Sometimes we just make it a game and make it fun. So let's go. I think the nice thing that I'm learning each day is that I have this little pile growing behind me, but when I do big declutters, I feel the need to pretty much immediately take it out and give it to the Goodwill or thrift store or get it out of my house. But because this is just a little bit at a time and I'm waiting until the last day of the week to get rid of it, it is even more easy to find something to declutter because I'm not worried about like, do I have time to drop this off today? Do I have time to get rid of it or do I have a place to store it? It's just like, I have this little pile growing and it's totally fine and it's easy. You just put it aside. You know it's going out the door soon. And I don't know, it just makes it so much easier for my brain this week when I have so much going on to just know that after this one easy step of finding something, I don't have to do anything else after that. All right, so hopefully you're enjoying this. If you are enjoying this little declutter, then put a heart emoji down below. and. Remember to subscribe for many, many more videos every week. Today, we're going to just dedicate this to randomness. So I found one random container that has no uses and at the top of my closet. So this is going to go and I'm going to go find two other small things for today real quick. So I know this is all in one day and you're seeing every day combined, but hopefully this is inspiring you to try this challenge on your own even document what you are decluttering every day and put it in the comments below. I just found three quick things that I was ready to get rid of. One is just a woman product that I don't like and don't use, but I want to try it. And then I have a small container that I haven't been using in a long time. And of course, this other clear container that has had nothing in it for a while now. All right, friends, so three more things out the door. Today, I'm going to go in my underwear drawer. So I recently just got a few new pairs of underwear and don't worry, it's not gonna be PG-13, nothing weird happening here, but I'm gonna declutter a few pairs of underwear and I'm gonna throw them in my bin of smaller things that I've been collecting. So, let's go. I have such a hard time. One, I hate buying underwear, so I very rarely do it anyway. But then it's one of those things that then I forget to declutter the old ones and I hem and haul about it for a while. So anyway, it feels really good to get rid of them and um, in with the new and out with the old. All right, friends, we're gonna go to the laundry slash workroom today and figure out if we're going to pick three, two, or one today. I haven't decided, so let's roll. All right, friends, so this is our laundry area slash the area where we keep all of the tools, the things for our house. And we're gonna start with the one large thing that I have already decided a while ago I'm going to get rid of and it is time for it to go out of the house this week. So it is the side of a couch. So I know that's confusing, but my daughter has this tiny, it's like a one seater little couch in her room that she likes to sit on. My brother and his girlfriend actually gave it to us because they got it for free and it goes great in her room, but it had two sections to it. It's just way too big for her room. And so one of the sections actually got peed on by the dog. And so, I tried to clean it, 
it's not going to work. So I'm ready to let it go. And I'm not going to take it upstairs with me just because it is really heavy and I'm here by myself right now. But it is going to go out the door tomorrow when I end up donating and getting rid of all of the stuff. So I'm super excited. All right, friends. So here we are again on the last day of the 321 challenge. And today I'm back down here in my laundry room because while I was down here, I found a few more things that I wanted to declutter. So the first thing that I'm going to get rid of is probably what I would call a medium thing. It's not super small, but we already have a longer skateboard that my husband really enjoys still. And so this one is going to go out the door. And then I also found two bottles of very old spray paint. It's kind of one of those things that I have a hard time getting rid of because I'm worried that I might need that color again or whatever. But these two bottles wouldn't be useful anymore right now anyway, because there's so little in them that I would have to buy a new bottle. So I'm gonna get rid of these two smaller bottles of spray paint and those are gonna be my three small things. So we have officially finished now. It is day seven, the last day. And what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna start putting everything in my car and we are going to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. 